So I'm back at Bello and I'm going to be doing the kinetic lift and this is kind of like a facelift without an operation. Yes, I need a facelift because I'm 49 and I need all the help that I can get. So, tingnan natin po kung ano ang kinetic facelift. So the kinetic facelift is I've and I've tried it already. Yeah, alam ko how it will feel. Um, it's higher, higher hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, and um, it's injected uh, with very high pressure. And you will hear like a popping sound pop, when it goes into the skin. And it's going to be um, distributed around my hairline and then under my chin. Because as you age, talagang uh, the first thing that you notice is the sagging skin and the lines under in on the neck area. So, um, magta target din si Doctor dito para magkaroon siya ng lifting because it's starting to drop, drop, droop, droop, droop. So, they want to lift like this. Ayan. So, to uh, this is Doctor. Uh, Nikki San Luis and Yanni is doing my um, Emla because I realized that I didn't want the discomfort um, so it will take 30 minutes to take effect and what is Emla is it's, a, it's an anesthesia so wala akong mararamdaman na pain when the kinetic when we do the kinetic lift so, ano yung na, ano ano ba talaga yon, Doctor Nikki? Yung pumapasok sa skin ko. Okay, for the procedure that we're gonna do today, we call it kinetic facelift. Um, it's a walk-in, walk-out facelift. Um, it's a needleless facelift, as we call it. So, doesn't involve needles, doesn't involve any heat. Mm -hmm. So we force. Skin enhancing agents like hyaluronic acid and peptides using a powerful blast into the upper layers of the skin. So with the tiny hole that is being created with the skin infusing agents underneath the skin, it creates a controlled type of trauma or injury on the skin, which causes collagen production, Elastin production, which gives you a tighter, younger, healthier look. So it's just high pressure air. Yes, it's just air. Okay, but that high pressured air is strong enough to create micro trauma and injury inside, uh, underneath the skin. So basically, pumapasok yung gamot dun sa skin. Puga ng hangin. Yeah. That's why right after the procedure, you'll notice tiny pinpoint holes on the skin okay aside from lifting it's also good for acne scars mm -hmm. for stretch marks mm -hmm. for the hands if you have dry thin dehydrated hands so it's okay. best for it's like an anti-aging treatment Totoo, numb pa yung face ko. Wala ko nararamdaman. Nahuli yung paglagay ng Emla. So, ngayon ko pa lang nag-feel na nagyan lang yung face ko. Kaya I can't feel it. I can't feel anything. It was more painful than the first time that I did it. Kaya lang, yung pain niya is siguro because I have a little bit of a migraine. Siyempre, pag nagagalaw yung temple mo, mas nararamdaman mo. But all in all, I think it looks worse than it felt. No pain, no gain. At saka parang may mga red spots pa ako. 
that will subside. Um, I'll show you tomorrow, pag nasa taping ako, what it looks like the day after. Um, I had my kinetic lift on Sunday. Today is Wednesday and I just wanted to show you the marks from the Bello procedure. Hindi na po siya swollen, pero mga sugat na gilong na. And then meron pa ako sa neck. And also dito sa side na to. Can you see it? Nung una, medyo parang masakit masakit pag hinahawakan. Pero ngayon hindi na. So that is the kinetic lift and we'll sh I'll show you after a few more days kung nagkaroon nga po siya ng lifting effect. So this is what it looks like three months after the procedure. So nice. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Subscribe and share. Bye-bye.